Hello and good day to you. My and welcome. My name is George Brown, George H. Brown. That's Brown with an E. At first I came to Oviedo in the year 1871. Quick, how many years ago was that? Never mind. At first I clerked at a wharf store warehouse on Lake Jessup that had just been built by Mr. Antonio Solari of Jacksonville. But in two short years, I had bought into a partnership with Mr. Solari. I was even postmaster of the village of Lake Jessup, the Lake Jessup community. Well, that wharf is long gone now, but it was located just west of this spot where I am now at the Black Hammock Fish Camp. If you're a student of Oviedo history, you may know that Mr. John F.J. Mitchell and his wife Henrietta had previously set up a wharf just about here where the fish camp is now. Well, Solari's wharf, my wharf, was just a bit west of here on private property these days. Beyond my wharf, there came another, Mr. White's wharf located at Clifton Springs. You know where Overlook Park is now, up on Springs Avenue. And then beyond that further west was Mr. Brantley's wharf located at the north end of what is now Tuscawilla Road. Those four Lake Jessup wharves were for some time the main conduit for all goods and passengers coming into and out of this part of Florida. That was because Lake Jessup was as far south on the St. John's as the steamboats could go before the river gets too shallow for them. Now, there is, in fact, some dispute to this day about exactly where Solaria's wharf was located. I know, but why should I ruin all the sport to be had in that ongoing debate? And now I want to change locations to talk about Mr. Solari a little bit more. See you there. And now, just recently, I see that Mr. Solari's name is being celebrated by the city of Oviedo at a new park located right here between Franklin Street and Geneva Drive. My sources also tell me that the Oviedo Preservation Project is preparing to design and fund one of those permanent iron historical signs to be planted right about on the other side of this park. The story on that sign will talk about Solaria's Wharf and the role of St. John's River steamboat traffic and the growth of Central Florida. So on behalf of Mr. Solari, thank you, Oviedo. Also, I should mention that just over yonder is the city of Winter Springs. There is also a street called Solaria's Wharf Street. So thank you, Winter Springs. No streets named after me though, but I don't want to show you the best, the next best thing. And that's over on King Street. We'll go there now. Well, here we are on King Street. My businesses in Oviedo went so well that in 1884, I built one of the finest homes in town. And what if I told you the home I built is the one now known as King's Manor, Airbnb, right here on King Street. How many of you have walked to high school along King Street? You know, that house is now one of four properties in Oviedo listed in the National Register of Historic Places. If I had my way, it would be called Brown's Manor and would be located on Brown Street, but I sold it to the Kings. And Mrs. King lived here for over 60 years, so I suppose I can't complain. A quick story. By 1890, the railroads had replaced steamboats and had a monopoly on shipping all the goods here out of Central Florida, so they began charging higher and higher rates. You know what we did? We put together our own railroad. We called it the Oviedo Lake Charm and Lake Jessup Railroad Company. Here's the thing. It was only ever a paper railroad and was never built. We only did it to put pressure on the big shippers to give us better rates on the goods we shipped and it worked too, the paper railroad. Good business, I say. Ah, quick story number two. Back in 1880, the folks in Oviedo elected me to the Florida House of Representatives. And you know, in 1887, I was actually Speaker of the House. Sound impressive? <laughs> I can tell you, after you travel from Oviedo to Tallahassee a few times over 1880s roads, you don't think it's so special. But all in all, I enjoyed living in Oviedo immensely in those days, and I've enjoyed this time spent telling you about it. Take care. God bless.